Now let us move on to the concept of discussing about the two kinds of charges. The first and foremost example which we will be dealing about this one is negative charge and the positive charge. Let us discuss about the negative charge and the positive charge in example of a glass rod and ebonite rod. If a glass rod is rubbed with a silk cloth, you can see here the glass rod is going to be rubbed with the silk cloth. It acquires positive charge while the silk cloth acquires an equal amount of negative charge over on it. You can see here very clearly. And if you consider about the ebonite rod, when it is going to be rubbed with the fur, it becomes negatively charged while the fur acquires equal amount of positive charge. So this was a kind of vice versa concept. So these are considered to be the two kinds of charges that is the negative and positive charge with an example depiction of glass rod and ebonite rod. Let us move to the topic which is called as conductors. In a simple definition we can simply say that the bodies which allow the charges to pass through are said to be called as conductors. The examples for conductors will be metals, human body, earth and so on. So you can find here some example for conductors which is having the charges over here and you can find some of the bodies which allow the charges to pass through it. Now let's talk about insulators. Insulators, if you see, the bodies which do not allow the charges to pass through are called as insulators. So in other words, we can tell the opposite of conductors will be called as insulators. Some examples for insulators are glass, mica, ebonite and plastic. 